Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode one of Mo Mods with Lachlan. Uh, Lachlan <laughs> MCWB is here, hanging out. How's it going, man? Good, bro. Mo Mods. I like Mo Mods. Sounds cool. Mo Mods cool. is cool. Um, so those who did not see the teaser video that uh, Lachlan and I filmed on the Mo Mods series, basically it's a series that uh, I approached him about and said, hey, you know, I'd like to get more of the Minecraft community aware of mods, teaching people mods, showing them how things work. And, uh, you know, would you like to do a video co-op series with me where I teach you some particular mods? And, uh, you know, he came back and said, yeah, dude, that sounds cool. Uh, and, uh, so we talked a little bit, uh, you know, his background is in redstone and I said, you know what, man, uh, the mod I have for you is called red power Two. Uh, it basically takes redstone to the next level and it has a whole bunch of really cool redstone mechanics. So that's what this series is going to be about. We're going to focus on red power Two, and depending on, you know, how much fun we're having, how successful the series is, we might move into some other mods. We might look into getting some more people in the Minecraft community involved and we're going to kind of go from there. So it's going to kind of be me teaching other people in the community, some cool modding stuff. So I feel like a little kid. I'm so excited right now. You have no idea. <laughs> I'm yeah, really man. excited. I can't yeah. wait to see this thing go. Yep. So uh, this is episode one, and we're going to start with some things that I feel like will be pretty familiar to anyone who likes redstone, uh, like you, Lucklin. Okay. So uh, we're going to start with uh, some basic redstone wiring mechanics that are available in Red Power. So first off, um, before I can really show you guys much of what's going to go on, I want to show you the project table. So I'm going to grab some of these project tables. If you want to grab them too, uh, Lucklin, you can check them out. Um, okay. I'm going to show uh, my audience what the crafting recipe is for the project table. Now a project table is kind of like an advanced version of a crafting table and you can place it on the ground. And the reason I'm using this is because unlike the vanilla crafting table, when you're crafting something on a server, the uh, other person cannot see what you're crafting. Are you familiar with that, Lachlan? Yes, I am. All right, well, on a project table, you can. So come on over and check out this project table interface. Cool. And you'll be able to see that there is a top slot, which is your crafting table, and the okay. bottom slot, which is represented by the chest. So if you looked in the recipe for the project table, there was a crafting table and a chest in that recipe. Well, that's yep. pretty much what this thing is. And what you do yep. is you can craft a recipe on the top, and that's kind of your template. So now we have a furnace recipe over here on the right. And when I click to pull items out, um, to grab a furnace, for example, it'll grab from the items in the cobblestone in the bottom section here. So this project table, you can craft a bunch of furnaces based on the materials in the bottom. So go ahead and pull a furnace out, and you'll see it takes coal oh, out of the bottom. Okay, that's, that is cool how it does that. Yep. Interesting. So you can go ahead and pull some stuff out if you want. You know, craft yourself a furnace just by clicking on it. Okay, so by clicking on what? The square? Uh, the furnace itself in the top right. There's no furnace. It disappeared. Did it? Yeah, the furnace is gone. Look at me. Close your already, uh, already, already project table things. and open it back up again, maybe. Already. Oh, there it is. Yep. There. Look, the trolling furnace is trolling me. <laughs> all right, now I got it. Okay, so that's cool. cool. So no matter, it's it's almost like you put all the materials in the chest, and if the materials are available there, you can build it. Yep. Right. Yep. That is really neat. Cool. Okay, I like that. I so like that's that. the project table. It's it's you know not redstone oriented, but it's a very nice tool, and it's going to be nice for us because it allows us to you know craft some items, and that way both of our viewer audiences can see what's being crafted and what's being done. Well, I did this for my viewer audience. I uh, actually went into where's it at the oh yeah I went into the chest over here, mm -hmm. and I went over the project table, and then I hit R on the keyboard, yep. and it shows the crafting recipe, which I thought was really cool. And this is NEI, by the way, you guys, NEI. Uh, little Ethan did a mod review on this. And this is really neat how you can get the available recipe just by hitting R on the object. And also, like if I wanted to do the chest here, I can hit R again, and it gives me the recipe for the chest. That's pretty sweet. Yep. That's all I wanted to point out. And the reason that you've got flashing different colors of blocks, that's indicating that you can use any type of wooden plank, regardless of it's jungle or oak or whatever, to craft that, uh, that chest. So that's why those yeah. blocks are flashing. That's pretty cool. Yep. Cool. Um, the next thing I want to talk about about Red Power is the fact that it adds some new types of ores to the world. Um, there's actually quite a few that get added here. And okay. uh, we're going to go ahead and talk about some of them now. But the main one I want to talk about is called uh, Copper Ore. So you can see there's some sitting here in the chest. And just like most other mods in the game, or most other ores, I'll put a little bit back in there. So there's Copper Ore. You just okay, throw so it in a furnace, and it'll go ahead and cook up. 
Okay, and it comes to copper ingots, right? Yep, you got okay. it. Got so, it. Uh, not wanting to have to sit here and wait for copper ingots, we're going to go ahead and uh, take the ones that we have in the chest. Cool. Now there's one more block that I need to cover before we can really get into some of the redstone mechanics. Um, and if you look in here, Lachlan, it's called the Alloy Furnace. Alloy Furnace. Let's yep. see. It is... Okay, got it. Right there. Yep. And you can see the crafting recipe is eight bricks. Okay, I, wanna... I grabbed a few of them. I just want to see what they look like. Cool. Oh, okay, cool. So that's an alloy furnace. It looks way better than a regular furnace. Yep. And these are used for crafting different alloys in Red Power, and you can combine different components and, and items uh, to get other items. So it's almost like a cross between a crafting table and a furnace in that you need to supply coal. So I'm on the right-hand uh, alloy furnace here. You can see I'm going to place some coal in the left slot. Okay. Um, oh, yep. So that's it. And then on the right slot, you um, put in the two items you want to combine. And in this instance, I'm going to combine copper ingots with redstone. And as soon as I put those two items in the table, it's going to combine and start cooking them together. And this recipe requires one copper ingot and four redstone for each combination that we get. So if okay. you watch, it'll take one copper and four redstone out to create our first red power two item called the red Alloy, alloy ingot. ingot. Oh, interesting. Yep. Um, there's a bunch of different things that this alloy furnace is used for, and we'll get into some more of them later. And an alternate recipe for the red alloy ingot, by the way, is to use iron if you don't want to use copper. Okay. So that's optional. So it, and it will just come out the same way, a red alloy ingot. Correct. Yep. Now, is copper is copper more rare than uh, regular iron? Um, I don't want to say it's more rare. It might be about the same rarity value, uh, maybe okay. a little bit more, maybe a little bit less. Um, there may be more or less uses for copper, depending on how many different mods you have installed. Um, one of the great things about Minecraft Forge, which is what um, Red Power 2 and a lot of other mods are based on, is something uh -huh. called the Ore Dictionary. So you can have, uh, there's several different mods that use copper, and uh, Red Power 2 is just one of them. And they all kind of share copper in the fact that, you know, so different mods might have different okay. uses for copper. Makes sense. Makes yep. sense. Cool. So that's how you get your first really important item for your wiring called red alloy ingots. So we're going to let some of them cook up. But meanwhile, we've got some over here in the chest. I lied. Now we do. <laughs> <laughs> there we are. We have them now. Yep. So now I'm going to clear out the project table that I had over here. And you can see a new recipe I'm adding in is three red alloy ingots. Ah, and that makes red alloy wire. Yep. I'm going to take that. I Go ahead. You can grab it. Wait, a I didn't take it. It keeps disappearing the first time I click on it. Oh, now I got it. Okay. Interesting. Let me go get a few more of those. Sure. This is, this is actually cool stuff. I like this. Yep. So let's talk a little bit about um, redstone wire versus red alloy wire. Okay. Uh, redstone wire, as we know, has a limited distance of, of 16 blocks, is it? Yep. 16. Cool. See, I do know a little bit about vanilla. And uh, <laughs> if you want redstone wire to go up a block, it can kind of go up one block like I showed right here, right? But you can't do this. You can't go up two blocks. So like, if we were to take that and put that here. Maybe that. Yep. There, you can't even do that either. No, I'm <laughs> the... There you go. Okay. Yep. And it will not, under any circumstances, go up there. Correct. I do I do have a question. Sure. Does, it does. I, there's my question. It's answered. Yep. Oh, yeah. They'll connect. They connect. That's pretty cool. Yep. Okay. So I'm going to get myself a handful of levers. Would you like some? Please. Love levers. Sure. Levers Actually, are a nice way a to demonstrate when things are working. But that's cool. Let's grab these. Okay. And whoop, right there. So as our viewers can see, eventually your redstone wire just kind of weakens, and after about 16 blocks, it no longer is available to you. But with red alloy wire, which is what Luckland's building with right now, this thing has much longer distance, and it can also go up walls and around corners um, and kind of be planted anywhere it wants. And I love that so much. And the reason why I love that so much is because... Like, I don't know if you guys remember, but in the uh, in the Zombie Fortress series where I did the three strikes and you're out, the footprint was gigantic. 
And this right here is would consolidate a footprint unbelievably. That's what's so cool about this. Yep. Oh, I love this so much. Oh, so how far does this go? Do we know? Uh, it goes pretty far. I've never hit the max. I do believe there is one, but because I've never hit it, I don't know it off the top of my head. <laughs> wow. So <laughs> like, that is crazy. Yep. So, you know, obviously a little bit more expensive than redstone uh, dust, but obviously much, much more powerful. The ability mm -hmm. to kind of, you know, go straight up some walls and around corners like we showed is pretty useful. That's pretty cool. Oh yeah, that is so awesome. And also you can wrap it like this. Yep. You can wrap it like this and up a like I mean, come on. Wow. That's so cool. <laughs> and it looks so much better too. You know, it's it's very uh the the look and feel of it is a lot better than redstone. Yeah. Red red alloy wire will very quickly become your friend if you're a fan of redstone. Oh, it's my friend. Trust me. <laughs> we already we already exchanged numbers and everything. Yep. Oh yeah. You guys are that going steady. So cool. Oh, it's cool. <laughs> oh, that's so freaking sweet. Yep. I'm having too much fun with that. Cool. Okay, cool. That's awesome. All right. So now let's talk about some more advanced redstone wiring that's available to you. Um, there's this really cool stuff if you look inside this chest called insulated wiring. And you can see there's a bunch of different colors okay, for it. Okay, there's blue insulated, brown insulated, pink insulated, gray. Okay, all that. Yeah, yep. that's a lot of... Okay. So pretty much every color of wool that's available in okay. Minecraft is also a color of insulated wiring. And let me show you where the use is. If you come over here and look what I'm building right here, let's say I wanted to have a really compact redstone mechanism, right? Yep. Um, and let me put down uh, two levers next to each other, like this. Um, and I'll just run some redstone here, and I wanted to say get a piston. I'll use a vanilla item just to make this even easier for people who are new to mods. Okay. Um, and by the way, I feel I should note that um, there's an item called a screwdriver. You see it in my hand here? Yeah. LRM actually overwrites vanilla pistons. You can rotate pistons by right clicking it with a screwdriver. Oh, that's freaking cool. <laughs> yes. Wow. So, that's uh, so awesome. Upgraded vanilla mechanics right there. So, say we want to activate this piston with this lever. Okay. Works perfectly so, fine, right? Yep. Okay. Say we want to activate this piston with this lever. We're gonna run into a problem, aren't we? Mm-hmm. And the problem is that now both levers are connecting to both pistons. Yep. That's not at all what we wanna have happen. This is where it's really useful to grab some of this bundled cabling over here. Check this stuff out. So you're telling me, hold on. So let me yep. just take a guess here. You're telling me that each cable has its own current. Correct. Oh, oh my gosh. And two cables of different colors will not connect to each other. That is so freaking sweet. Yep. So now I can have one lever activate one piston and the other lever activate the other piston. And like I said, there's 16 different colors, so you can do this, you know, up to 16 different colors in a row. Wow, that is so awesome. Like, yep. I mean, that right there is just so awesome. It's a really very useful mechanic, especially once you get into some more advanced redstone, you want to get really compact, do some really cool stuff with it. And uh, yeah, it's 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 hard to beat that okay. functionality. That is, no, yeah, you can't beat that at all. That is so cool. I have some twitches here. Cool, oh, lock I, them up. Doom, right there, look at that. That is just awesome. Yep, and then just one other thing to note is that it won't connect to anything that's not the same color. Um, okay. but you can also connect um, just plain red alloy wire to it, and that's the mechanic it looks like there. Oh, okay, so that's awesome. Yep. That, that's really cool. So, for example, if you do want to connect, you know, two different colors, you can do that. Um, that's what I was going to ask. Right with that, yep. Yeah, wow. Very handy, right? Yeah, that's really handy. That is just so neat. Plus, I mean, look how nice that looks, right? I, I mean, was going to just... say the same thing. The <laughs> the aesthetics of it is just awesome. It's not messy. You don't have to, like, you know what my, my worst, the thing I hate the worst about it is, like, in vanilla Minecraft, when you uh, when you have to go, like, somewhere down here like this, 
-hmm. You've got to like, you know, bring your redstone and lay it down here and then down here and then figure out where it's going to go. And it's just like, it's such a pain in the butt. Oh, I think yeah. there's oil down there, by the way. Oh, yeah, there is. We struck California gold, black gold. Yep. There's We're oil over in oil guys. Hills. <laughs> That's a build craft mechanic, by the way. Uh, you can see I actually had covered up this oil geyser with this cobblestone oh, here. Oh, there we go. I was okay, being sneaky. Fine. There cool. we go. Leave it to me to ruin it. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. Not at all. Cool. Wow. Okay. That so you can awesome. uh, you can check out the recipe for those uh, different colors of wire. It's really just the three red alloy ingots like we used before, and whatever okay. color wool that you want to use. So if you want gray insulated wire, for example, you would use gray wool. Okay, so it's the same recipe with the three alloy ingots down, red alloy ingots down, and then you just put a piece of wool in there somewhere? Uh, hit the recipe, mouse over one of them. Okay, hold on, yeah, let me do that. Let me hit R. Oh, it's on both sides. Okay, yep. it makes sense. It's got cool. the wire and then the insulation. That's yep. cool, you got very it. cool. Yes, cool. that's awesome. All right. Wow, okay, that was really cool. All right, so let's take it up another notch. Okay. No pun intended. Another, yeah. Check out the bundled cabling in here, which I'm going to place in the bottom right corner of the chest. Bundled cabling. Oh, it's the rainbow brownies. Yep, rainbow brownies. You guessed oh, it. Oh, yeah. These things are even cooler than what I just showed you a moment ago. All right, so, so let's take some. I took come some. over here. Okay. And let's say you're building inside a house or something, and you've got really tight quarters. Like okay, yes. super tight. And you want to set up some something similar to what we just did a moment ago with your, your piston setup. And I'm going to set up a few of them right here. Okay. And I'm just going to pick five pistons. That sounds good. Okay. Okay. Maybe four. Because that's how much cable I have on me. <laughs> All right. We'll come down here. Let's say we want to get a similar setup with the wiring that we had a moment ago. Okay. Where I have, let's say, a white cable, an orange cable, purple, magenta, and light blue. Okay. And just like before, I wanted the three levers, or the four levers, to correspond to the four pistons over here. Okay. What bundled cabling does is it connects all four, or up to 16 cables, into one line. What? Wow. Like so. so go ahead and try the levers. Oh, uh, no way. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, that is so cool. So the light blue corresponds to the light blue, the purple corresponds to the purple, et okay. cetera, et cetera. That's pretty awesome. Wow. So you want to get really compact with redstone? That's the way to do it, man. That is the way to do it. That is so cool. Now, how, okay, how many can you have on this? How many? 16 How many different colors. 16 different colors? Yes. Oh, oh I got to go change my pants. Wow, that was crazy. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. That is insane. And just wow. to kick it up one more minor notch, right, there is um, colored bundled cabling. Okay. Which works just like insulated. Um, so I will give you some orange and some okay. magenta bundled cabling. So they're kind of hard to tell the difference of. Um, yeah, they but, look the same. Hold yeah. on. But okay, when you lie see. them down on a line like this, you'll see. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Sneaky. Yep. That is so freaking cool. So if you really so, wow. want to get compact. It really gets compact at this point. Yeah. So these wow. two cables can each carry 16 different colors along them. Wow, that is insane. That's so cool. Wow. Okay, my mind yep. is completely blown right now. Yep. I'm never going to play vanilla Minecraft again with redstone. <laughs> and never. you can go ahead and check out the recipe of your bundled cables if you want to show your audience. Basically, yeah, you I'm need um, five of any color and okay. some string. Um, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Bundle cables? Let me go back. Uh, yeah. Orange bundle cables. Here you go. There's I'll bundle cable there. Okay, wow. There it is. Yep. Okay, so this is... Interesting. So it's insulated wire, string. Okay, so it's any insulated wire and four string. And the shut up, cow. Don't you see we're trying <laughs> to make a video? Okay. Oh, that is so cool. Okay, so then the orange 
And so then you take a magenta bundle cable with orange dye gives you orange bundle cable or yep. white bundle cable with orange dye gives you orange bundle cable. Yep. That is so cool. Yep. Wow. So you can basically just dye the bundle cable. That's awesome. Dye. Yep. Pretty neat oh, stuff. I, I'm going to, I'm going to tell you what my first thing is that I'm going to do mm -hmm. is I'm going to recreate my three strikes and you're out just with this. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is so awesome. Like, we're not done, by the way. No, no, no. I'm. I, I know. I mean, I'm with ready. cool redstone mechanics. You ready for the next one? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Bring right. it on. Bring it on. Here's some neat stuff. You, I think, are going to really appreciate this. You ready? Let's check it out. Okay. So let's say, for the sake of argument, okay, that we've got the following setup. We've got a lever here. Okay. And uh, some wires and such. And let's say that maybe way up in the air here, we have a piston okay. that we want to activate with this lever. Okay. Normally, you'd have to run some wires up a block, right? Yeah. Well, maybe you don't want to do that. Okay. What I have for you, my friend, is jacketed cable. And what this does is it can stand on its own. Oh, so it's this cable. Yeah, and it activates, and it will transmit a redstone signal. But it doesn't have to be attached to any block. It stands on its own. Wow. So you might have, like, a really compact design or something, and you, you literally need to get, you know, redstone, you know, through an open space, and you don't have the, the space let, to run along let me give a Let me give a, uh, an example. Sure. Okay, in Minecraft, vanilla Minecraft, I've always wanted to create, like, a floor that rises up. Right, mm -hmm. and you put pistons right next to each other, side by side by side. But you can only do a certain amount of them that rise up at the same time. You can't have a floor like a, a 10 by 12 floor of pistons side by side by side by side because to get that, to, to build that, just the footprint alone would just be horrendous. So yep. to get it to do this right here, just with one piston, is crazy. And so, like all the rest, like there, that's thanks a lot for making it look so easy. Yep. Wow. Look at that. That is Oh, that's so cool. Pretty neat, right? Yeah, that's <laughs> awesome. That's really awesome. That is so cool. Man. Why have I not done this earlier? Okay, I like that. I'm completely in love with this mod. Oh yeah. And I haven't even seen nothing yet, have I? No, you really haven't. I haven't seen nothing. This is episode one, the basics. We're just scratching the surface. <laughs> All right, there's one more component that I want to show you. Okay. Um, that there's a lot more to this feature okay. of Red Power, um, but I'm going to go ahead and show you this one aspect just because it does have to do with wiring. Okay. Okay. Um, and then maybe we'll touch on one more nuance of the bundled versus, or the, um, you know, the insulated versus the red alloy cabling. Okay. So uh, don't worry about how to craft this yet. I'll talk more about these types of blocks in the future. But I, I do want to show you one thing about um, insulated cables here. Um, let's do this. I'm going to place a, a, a lever here. And watch what I'm doing behind, behind the scenes. So, you know, standard vanilla mechanics is that a redstone signal can travel through a block, right? Yep. Have you ever wanted that to not happen? Yes. Bundled cable? Mm-hmm. Or insulated cable, I mean? Does not happen. Does not travel through a block. That's brilliant. Cool. Yeah, that is really cool. So basically, it's I mean, it, it's 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 simple. It's insulated, it's insulated cable. You know, you think about it that way. Like nothing can touch it from the outside because why? It's insulated, so yep. it would make sense. That's awesome. It's in the name. <laughs> That's so awesome. Cool. Yeah. Um, now, occasionally, you might want to have just regular old red alloy wire separated. So let's say we wanted to do the following. Okay, we wanted to yeah. uh, do something like this. I'm going to run this up to here and get some orange cable next to it. And then just break this thing real quick. So you might want to actually have like a control board like I have up here on the wall. Yeah. See the levers? Yes. But because it's insulated, they won't work, right? Yep. And if we used regular red alloy wiring... 
They would connect together. They would connect. Yep. Well, there's these neat little objects called stone cover strips, and I'll throw a couple your way now. Okay. And what you can do is you can place them on the wall, and it'll actually separate the red alloy wiring like that. That is so... Gosh, you're going to blow my mind. You, it's just like, like right now my mind is just running. It's like, why have you not played this mod before? Why have you not done this? <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Oh, it's so cool. I yep. love it. So you can go ahead and place that 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 strip down. Uh, these cover strips come in almost every block type. So you can have brick cover strips. You can have cobblestone. You can have sand and dirt. You can have all kinds of stuff. Um, and it'll, so you know, pretty the, much the, nice looking stuff too. I was going to say, do the cover strips uh, follow like, for instance, let me go over here. Do they do the same thing that the red alloy wire does? Like it goes up walls, under wall, everything? Sure. Yeah, give it a shot. So it does. It fall That's so cool. Yep. Wow. And it goes side to side. Wow, that's so cool. They have it too. Oh, I love how you can adjust it around and you can create like a... That is so neat. And we'll go into more about these things. They're called micro blocks. There's a okay. lot of them. We'll go into more okay. of them in a future episode. Okay, cool. But yeah, I feel like this might be a pretty good wrapping up point um, for the basic wiring mechanics uh, oh, that yeah. are available on Red Power. Do you have any questions, Lucklin? Um, no, I think I asked most of the questions that I wanted to uh, during, you know, during everything. Because, I, like, I'm just trying to wrap my head around everything. And it's just, what's so cool is, like, here's the thing. It's so simple. And it makes sense. It's not like it's some out there mod where you're just like, oh, well, you know, I don't. No, this makes sense. It's insulated wire. That's really what it's supposed to do. Uh, any, You should be able to take wire and put wire anywhere as long as it, you know, it should go up a wall. It could go wherever you put it at. And that's what I think is awesome about this mod. It's very practical. Absolutely. Yep. So, uh, yeah, I, I think we gave uh, our viewers a lot to think about here. Anyone who's a fan of Redstone definitely will appreciate a lot of the functionality that Red Power 2 brings. And uh, like we said, we haven't even scratched the surface of this mod. I'm so excited. I'm not kidding with you. <laughs> so I just want to say, family members, you guys that are watching this, uh, remember, if you like this series, please remember to give it some support. Also, guys, if you don't know who Direwolf20 is, I don't know what's going on, but his link will be in the description below and an annotation in the corner of the screen. So make sure you go over there and check out his channel because he is the mod master as far as I'm concerned. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And a link to uh, Lucklin's channel will be available for all the Direwolf 20 viewers watching this as well. Uh, so this is Direwolf 20 and Lucklin MCWB signing off. Take it easy, everybody. Bye, guys.